Ah, uh, my friend, it's good to see you. I'm getting sick of this. Seriously, what is your obsession with us? I'll bet it's because of my boyish good looks. Are you serious? Deadly. I'll bet you 10 gold. Deal. Bro, I'll bet you 50 gold that's because he's sick of your boomkin bullshit. I know I am. Deal. I'll bet anyone 100 gold he's chasing us because he's fallen madly in love with me. I'll take that action, but make it 500, and I'll go 60-40 with you that it's just because of your body. I'll bet 10,000 gold that I can name more Pokemon than anyone. We just did this. What? I, I mean deal, deal, deal. Articuno. So that's 10 gold to Dynamo because I have no interest in the annoying guy's looks. Uh, 25 to Rosset Mall because I think the annoying guy is annoying. 300 to Raro because Kaida's body is the only thing I'm remotely interested in. And Bilez owes everybody 10,000 gold. What about the other bet? I already told you! He's my henchman! We're not gay! He's an underling! Does underling mean that he's the bottom? We're not gay! So why did you spend all that time hunting us down? At first it was to keep you from telling anyone important what happened in Stranglethorn. But then we realized that none of you were talking to anyone remotely important. After that, I wanted to get a hold of one of you idiots to beta test my Death Knight creation program. Death Knights? Really? Why is everyone's go-to plan Death Knights? Sure, it's cool to suck the souls out of people, but let's have some originality. Thank God you didn't actually do it. About that. Now that I've joined the announcer, his forces will be unstoppable. So you've officially switched teams? It wasn't an easy decision, but yes. Thank, thank God! That was not the reaction I expected. I'd just like to thank you for taking quite possibly our most annoying and useless member. Hey! I wasn't talking about you. Oh, sorry. It's just when you talk about the most useless member of the group, I assume you're talking about me. You really can't blame me for that reaction. What made you finally turn, Nice? I thought you were better than that. Really? Yes? No? Maybe? I finally realized my full potential. I've embraced the dark side. You can't win, Nice. If you strike me down, I will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Damn, that really hurts. I warned you, don't make me unleash my full arsenal of powers. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. I don't need much motivation. Dad, would you stop that? Try and stop me. I hope you have some new tricks. Wow, you get force fields too? I'm afraid that one was me. Impressive as ever, but why are you here? What does the Horde want in the Stormwind Cathedral? Nothing. The Horde thinks I'm here to raid the keep and cause general mayhem. Which you seem to be doing quite well. Why, thank you. I did it due to my love for chaos, but I really came here to liberate an artifact from the cathedral. Oh man, I knew liberate was catching on as the classy way of stealing things. What artifact did you take? Honestly, I'm not sure. It's from Mediv. I guess it's his pancreas? Maybe appendix. The point is, with the appendix of Mediv, I have all I need to destroy the world. Destroy the world? Yes, I've grown tired of all this. Talk about emo. Wait, this isn't a horde operation? We have intel that puts you in cahoots. You're right in a sense. It's true that by the end of the war I defected. I soon found that the horde was no better than the Alliance. Score one for the Alliance. Woohoo! The situation is just getting worse. Look at what happened in Ultrak. They're fighting over the worst piece of real estate in the world. What is the Alliance going to do in there? I'm sure that they're planning on turning this into some type of- Exactly. There's no rhyme or reason to it anymore. It's high time for the ignorant masses of the world to face the reckoning of their own hubris. So what? You're gonna blow up the world. Aren't you going to die too? Possibly. Hell, probably. But at this point, I really don't care. 
And you two? Are you okay with blindly dying? What can you do? He's the boss. Them's the breaks. Plus, I'm getting tired of the paperwork the Horde requires. And for me to go from stalwart champion of the light to destroyer of the worlds in under a week? That's one for the history books. Oh god, we're all dead! Panic everyone! Panic! Ah! Is there any way we can disrupt the force field? I have no idea where the field originates from, and given the apparent strength, I doubt it. I think we only have one remaining option. Nice, you have to stop this. If that's your only option, we're screwed. Not like it would work. When will you realize that I've changed? I'm evil. Nice, you are as evil as I am, at best. And nice, that means you aren't evil. It just means you're an asshole. No, I'm evil. What evil things have you really done? I'm trying to destroy the world. Yes, but why? Because the guy you're working for wants to. Exactly. You're a tool. You're a patsy. You're an asshole. Actually, when you put it like that, okay, I'm an asshole. What of it? Quite simple. Your boss is going to kill us all, including you. And that would be bad. Oh, for the love of God, yes, that would be bad. If you could, either stop the announcer or find a way to deactivate the force field. I'll see what I can do. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't part of the plan. Out the way. Ah! 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 Not cool, man. Nice, what the hell are you doing? Stopping you for the good of my own self-serving ass. Nice, you don't know what you're doing. Think about the ramifications of your actions. I am Bernice Alexander Cornwallis III, and I am asshole. Which means I never think about the ramifications of my actions. You fool! All my plans ruined! This is gonna hurt. I was not wrong about that. Where did everything go? Vicaro, did you port us before that explosion? No, I think this might be what's left. How is that possible? And how are we still alive? By interrupting the spell prematurely, Nice may have only lessened the effect instead of outright stopping it. As for our survival, I can only guess that the force field we were in was able to protect us to some extent. So where are Nice, Pez, and the announcer? The chance of any of them surviving an explosion of that magnitude is quite low. So they're dead? Possibly. Probably. I really can't say. What do we do now? Try and find anything else that survived. I swear, if all we find out here are zombies, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs>